But first, we want to get back to that developing story out of Northeast Harris County, where a woman in her early 80s was killed in a house fire overnight. Investigators say the fire started as a family slept inside. Crews rushed to the home of Honeybee Court and Amber Rose Lane and put out the flames as fast as they could. That's where our Kathy Hernandez is live with the latest information. Kathy. Good morning to you. It's very heartbreaking. This is where that woman in her early 80s died in this devastating house fire. They needed help, so I felt like it was my job to help them. Michael Leal lives next door to this now charred home on Honeybee near Amber Roads. We were helping them clear the kids out of the house. Leal's wife heard the loud popping of the flames at about 2.30 this morning. He went outside and stepped into action, using a brick to break a window. No, she couldn't break it, so I grabbed it and took it from her and broke it for her so, so we could help the kids or whatever come up. A mother, father, their five children, the grandfather and a longtime family friend were inside. The grandfather noticed the fire first. Uh, the elderly gentleman uh, was alerted to smoke and he's the one that started alerting the family to get out of the house. The 56 year old father was able to rescue his wife and his eight year old daughter through a second story window. Firefighters tried to save the family friend, a woman in her early 80s. They believe she was trying to escape the flames before she died. We tried it, the dad, even the dad tried it. There's nothing he could do. I mean, the fire was just too dangerous, so we had to get away from the window and everything. And you can see relatives are here trying to save items from inside that home. The mother and father were both hospitalized with smoke inhalation and are expected to be okay. Arson investigators are trying to determine what caused the fire. They say they believe it started in the back of the home, but right now they tell us they do not believe it's suspicious. Reporting live in Northeast Harris County, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC2 News.